Hey, this one make me to become weak. I don't really understand what is going on nowadays. It is not a must to be a nurse. It is not a must that everybody can work in the hospital. I know that a lot of people are just interested in going to nursing because they think that this is a profession or a vocation that can, you know, earn them a lot of money. I always tell people that anything concerning health is sensitive and must be treated with care. I don't know, majority of you ha have heard this. Uh, one, I don't know if it is a Nigerian or African nurse in the UK in serious trouble after she gave the patients unprescribed medication because she wanted to have the best of her shift. She felt that these people are disturbing her, that she needs to rest. My question is this. If Let's listen to this first before I continue. We are going to listen to this video, how they narrated it. A registered nurse has been sentenced to seven years in prison for the most insane reason. So this nurse was doing a shift. She works in a stroke ward where she had, I believe, a couple of confused patients. And she decided to administer unprescribed Zopiclone to her patients just to shut them up for the night. And apparently another colleague of hers, they were all in on it. And she took the pill out of her pocket and administered an unprescribed medication to this patient. And I believe she did it to a couple other patients as well. And the student nurse she was working with at the time apparently witnessed everything and was horrified as how the nurse was just going around sedating people just so that she can have a peaceful shift. And I believe it was the student nurse that blew the whistle and obviously the, the nurse got charged to court. So during the course of the investigation, so many evidence came to light and some of them are just bizarre. So she messaged one of her friends saying, oh, I am going to kill that patient in bed number five and saying things like, oh, I sedated her to high heavens. I'm sure she will be out for a week. And the nurse that she was talking with told her, oh, when you come tomorrow, just go ahead and sedate all of them and things like that. And it's just so scary. And she is completely unaware as if this medication has any sort of interaction with whatever medication the patients were taking. But according to her, she does not care. And from the messages that she was sending back and forth, it was very evident that this nurse does not care about her patient's welfare nor her patient's safety. The family of some of the patients that were involved were just horrified at the whole situation and just, you know, said that they just couldn't believe that things like this could happen. The craziest part is I've actually worked in this hospital before, not in the same world, but I have worked in this hospital before. To so think like things like this is actually a lot closer to you than you think. Anyway, let me know what you think. And yeah, this is bizarre. It is not a must. It is not a must. If you decide to give help, if you decide to enter into this, you should know that this is a humanitarian work. You should always know that one day you will be in this position. Like some people, when they see elderly people, they treat them with disrespect as if they are not going to become old. That is why some people are afraid of 40. They don't want to hear that word, I am 40 years. They want to remember baby every day, which is not possible. This young lady that did this, if this happens to be her mother, her parent, would you do that? Would you do that to your parents or if in the world that you heard somebody did something like this to your mother, would you like it? You know, sometimes we treat others like they are not human beings, but when it comes to us, we try to preserve it. We try to, you know, do them well because it is us. I have told us several things that we all are human. We all are the same. Regardless of your color, regardless of the language you speak, regardless of where you are coming from. So we should treat one another the same way. Now they have given her seven years imprisonment and a lot of people were so furious, angry. 
They said the seven years is 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 so small because she planned it, because she she didn't even feel sorry about it. She planned it. There is something that assume it was a mistake, you know. Assume she made it as a mistake, or maybe she wanted to give her another medication and a mistakenly, or maybe she gave her overdose or something. You will say, oh, sometimes mistakes occur in a work or profession. But this one, according to what you heard, this our sister said, was well planned. She planned it ahead of this to execute. Just because if you don't have thread to work, especially night shift, you don't work. You don't go into nursing. Nursing is something, apart from the salary aspect of it, it should be something we 